Hi guys and welcome back to Is It Worth It Reviews. Today we are talking about Matrix Mini i4 DAC with network streaming capabilities. And what is it all about? Let's find out. Mini i4 is 2-in-1 DAC and network streamer. And if you look in the back, you'll find out plenty of connections starting with digital inputs like optical, coaxial, uh, HDMI arc, USB, but that's standard for most of the DACs on the market nowadays. What's not all that standard is LAN port, meaning that you can connect this one directly to network, so it can accept any incoming music stream from the network and act as a renderer. But Mini i4 also has a set of analog RCA inputs, which is not that common really. And on the output side of things, we have both single-ended RCAs and balanced XLRs. But you probably noticed already that this one does not have digital outputs, meaning that if you would like to use it as a digital transport only and feed an external DAC, you cannot do that. What you can do is you can use it as an all-in-one network streamer plus a DAC or simply a DAC with some other digital platform feeding it. Now, just before I turn it on to show you the front panel, I wanted to comment on its build and looks. Uh, for my personal taste, looks are amazing. It has this stylish, nice, simple, but kind of industrial look to it with these side uh, panels with small ridges on it, or I don't know how would I call this. An interesting thing to note here is that the upper part is made out of aluminium, but sides and lower part of casing is plastic, which honestly I didn't notice for the first two weeks of use, because everything looks premium and high quality, and I just love the looks of this. Now there's only one physical button up top in the left corner and that's for powering it on and off. And you should see now that when it's powered on, there is actually a color display in front. On both sides of the display, there are touch sensitive buttons, two on the left, two on the right, so you can use them to change inputs and change volume. And also a screen itself is a touch sensitive one. It shows just like normal info that you would expect if you use anything like USB input, coaxial input, etc. But when connected to the network and when it's actually streaming some music, you'll also see an album cover. And uh, I don't know, it looks pretty nice, it's very functional, I kinda like it. Now this whole deck is based around a really good ESS Sabre deck chip, I'll put that on the screen. And Mini i4 without Pro in its name doesn't have a headphone output. So there is not much to talk about specs here really. You can choose between several digital filters and they do make subtle difference. I'll not uh, take time of this review to talk about it. You can always try that for yourself. Uh, it's a subtle difference. It will never change the overall sound signature of a device. But one thing is really important when we talk about network capable DACs, streamers, renderers, and that's we, what kind of protocols, connection protocols and software that you can use to control them they support. And when it comes to that, Matrix Mini i4 is really feature rich. First, I wanted to mention that there is a native app called Matrix Audio Control or something like that. And it works really fine. It's quite smooth, it's pretty looking, it's logical UI. I used it for some time and it just works really nice. But also UPnP protocol is supported too. So you can use something like Bubble UPnP or MConnect as your player, software player, and just send the signal to this device as a bridge. Then Spotify is supported, Tidal directly like Tidal Connect from the app is supported. Rune, if you're a Rune user, which I became recently, and by the way, if you want to check out Rune, there is a link down below this video, 
it's a 14 day free trial and if you decide to stay your own user I'll get a small percentage. But unfortunately at the moment of me testing it Mini i4 is still not fully certified so I could not test how it works with Rune. But what I can tell you is that every other way of connecting to it, uh, that being UPnP, Tidal Connect or just native app MA control, all of those worked really well. And unlike EverSolo DMP A6 for example that sounded clearly better to its own native app, I didn't notice something like that with Matrix Mini i4. So you're free to choose just by what kind of features you like, what kind of UI you like. Because all of those ways and all of those apps and connection protocols that you can use with Mini i4 work really well. Okay, Mini i4 sounds really precise, it's really well controlled, it's tight, it's focused and it has great detail retrieval. But with that I can say that its tonality is leaning towards bright and uh, a bit lean, slightly analytical. It has great precision, great control, it also has great grip over bass notes, they are never slow or bloated, they are so fast and tight and nimble, but it also means that it doesn't offer any sort of warmth. Or if you like tones that linger long in time, like nice and long tone decays. Mini i4 is not really about that. It's as I said highly precise, focused, really well etched, but it has nothing with the kind of sound that you might call warm or full-bodied or musical or anything like that. It's not that I'm saying it's not musical because having such great control and uh, precision and really nice fast pace and rhythm makes it musical in its own way. I just have experience when people say musical they think about nice, smooth, really well connected and coherent tones that have good flow between each other. And as I said, Mini i4 is not about that. It's about that cold-blooded precision and just being sharp, clear and focused. And everything is well delineated well separated and really clear sounding overall but without some sort of musical magic or warmth. And to fully assess its capabilities I put it against two really great devices. First one was a DAC, a DAC only, topping E70 Velvet. And in this case I simply compared a DAC section from the Matrix Mini i4 to the topping E70 Velvet. They were both fed by an external audio streamer, in this case Volumio Revo. Review coming soon by the way, stay tuned, it's a really interesting device. But back to these two, when compared directly E70 Velvet is actually a warmer and fuller sounding one. Aside from that they are mostly comparable, like the sound stage is equally wide, uh, the detail retrieval is on pair, microdynamics and dynamic swings are once again quite comparable, but the biggest difference is definitely in their tonality. E70 Velvet is a bit warmer and fuller and softer in the bass and mid bass region, Mini i4 is tidier but leaner sounding especially in those lower registers. And you might prefer one or the other, it would depend mostly on your personal preferences and the rest of your system. And Mini i4 is 200 US dollars more expensive but it is not just a DAC, it has a network streaming section too and touchscreen LCD and it's a more feature rich device. Next comparison was with something that is much more direct competitor 
and that's ever solo dmp a6 okay now let me put them one on top of each other so you can see the difference in size dmp a6 is a bigger chunkier device and it has a bigger screen it also costs 200 US dollars more than Mini i4. And with DMP A6, you can use SSD, you can put it inside of the unit and use it as an internal storage, local storage. And also one difference is that DMP A6 can be used as a digital transport because it does have digital outputs. And Mini i4 doesn't. You can use only a DAC part you can use streamer and the DAC both, but there are no digital outputs. So you cannot use Mini i4 as a digital transport only. So I compare these two in a two different ways. Only as a DAX fed with a completely separate digital transport to assess their DAX performance, but also as network streamers when they're connected to the network and they do all the work. And I have to say that in both of these cases, the difference that I've noticed, sonical difference, was the same. So we do not need a separate parts, separate comparisons, how they perf perform as a deck only or as a whole streamer, because the relative difference is the same. And what I noticed is that DMP A6 sounds fuller and warmer. And once again, very similar as with Topping E70 Velvet, Mini i4 is kind of leaner and more oriented towards upper frequencies, upper mid-range. And at moments, it sounded like it maybe reveals a little bit more from that upper mid-range part of the frequency spectrum. But comparing them a little bit more critically, I've noticed that it's not that Mini i4 presents more details in that part of the spectrum. It's that they're more noticeable because it is leaner sounding in the mid-bass and bass section. Whereas... Ever solo DMP A6 has fuller and heftier bass line and slightly fuller bodied mid bass, which makes whole sound a little bit fuller and just more palpable. And you're less inclined to notice, to think about that upper mid range and higher frequencies than you are with Mini i4 because as I said, it's leaner in those lower parts. So those upper ones are easier to spot. They, they take more of your attention than they would if the lower spectrum was fuller. Aside from that, I noticed they both have quite similarly wide soundstage, but DMP A6 managed to sound slightly deeper and a little bit more three-dimensional whereas Mini i4 was kind of flatter sounding. And I'll just be very open here, I consider Eversolo DMP A6 to be a better sounding device. So if you have a really good, really transparent system, I think that Eversolo would bring slightly fuller and slightly more wholesome presentation. But have this in mind, the difference is not huge at all. It's not something like this. It's more like this. And I notice it without any problems in my main setup. But just to put things into a better perspective for you, I assembled a system consisting of some nice entry level to mid range amps like SMSL A300 or Topping PA7 Plus. And then I connected all of that to CAF LS50 speakers. And in that case, the difference gap that, that I could perceive was much, much, much smaller. So depending on what the rest of your system consists of and how transparent it is and how critical listener you are, uh, your impression might vary from, yes, you definitely notice that difference gap that is not big, but it's noticeable, to, yeah, there are no differences, and this Iwi guy is full of shit. So what I can tell you here is to use your own logic 
and try to objectively assess your own system and how critical of a listener you are. If you're really critical and you have a really good system, I would go for Eversolo DMPA6 because I find it to be a better sounding device. But as I said, a gap is really not that big. And in any sort of entry level to like nice mid-range system, you might not even notice a difference between Matrix Mini i4 and Eversolo. Because Mini i4 on its own is a really good sounding device. It's in line with some really good DACs that are around four or five hundred US dollars on the market, but it also brings this nice network streaming part. So Mini i4 is a good preposition. It's a good value. It's a really good sounding device. And if the rest of your system is on a slightly darker side or sweeter side, or has a little bit of fatty bass line, or just loose mid bass, and you think that some tightness and control would serve your system well, then I have no problem recommending this device. But if it's not, if, if your system is already precise and bright enough and controlled enough, if you want some sort of warmth or richness or full bodiness from your source, then it might be better to look for that elsewhere. And with that, it's time to end today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next one. Bye.